David, thanks. Tonight at 6, campaign signs are everywhere. They're all along the roads, and some of those signs could be breaking the law and putting you in danger. 16 WABT's Ross Adams is looking into who's accountable for keeping a clear line of sight on the roadways. Ross? This busy intersection is prime real estate for campaign signs, but if the candidates that put them up get too close to the road, they could lose them. One week to the primary, campaign signs are cluttering roadways. Oh, yeah, you can't help but notice them. You're running over them if you ain't looking good. Yeah, I notice them all. But who's accountable to make sure these political signs are following the rules? MDOT says it's illegal to post signs close to state highways. It does vary from, from location to location, but it, typically you can take the center line of the, the roadway and go 300 feet out. That's kind of a safe estimate on, on where our right of way begins and ends. When they get in office, maybe they'll learn about that law. They obviously don't know because it's, you know, it's three feet from the interstate. State highway leaders say keeping roadways clear prevents hazards and keeps drivers safe. It can be a very dangerous situation. You know, I mean, there's cars buzzing by at very high speeds, and uh, you know, not not only for the safety of people driving by and being distracted, but also the safety of the person putting the signs out there. So, you know, we really want to encourage people just to to please uh, refrain from posting these signs on the side of uh, highways and interstates. The city of Jackson has two sign inspectors on patrol looking for violators. They say in Jackson, it's against the law to put signs in the median or hang them from utility poles. And signs posted along a city street must be at least 10 feet from the road. Tons of them in the median. So, you know, absolutely. Kind of a, kind of a headache? Yeah. Tell me no. why. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's a, it's a bit much. It's all in your face. That's why state crews are constantly searching for signs of trouble. This season, you know, we, we haven't had a lot of rain, so they've been out and about a lot this year, and, uh, you know, they have been busy. Um, I, I don't know if they've been more busy than other years or not, but, uh, you know, yeah, this is something that, you know, we have to deal with annually. And MDOT will pick up illegally posted signs and hold them for two weeks. Candidates can pick them up without any penalty. After that, MDOT trashes them. Reporting live from Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.